Yesterday, I picked up this Farmall Liftall from Craigslist. The guy had taken it off his Farmall BN tractor and listed it on Craigslist. <laughs> But a little bit of research shows that this is not a Farmall lift all. It is a Charlin High Low Power Pack E600. It was an aftermarket hydraulic pump that could be bolted onto any tractor back in the 40s and 50s. I, I believe they made it in the 40s as well. But these could be put on just about any tractor. This one has a bracket for farm alls. These two little uh, bolt holes right here attach right here and then it drops on right over the PTO. So you got this reservoir hanging off the back. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to show you some pictures that uh, were on Craigslist with this. So I was wondering why all of this, uh, the attachments and stuff here, looked so, you know, they look homemade. But a lot of this farm all stuff looks homemade, to me at least. Well, maybe it's just the repairs. That actually looks pretty pretty damn good except for the crack right there but anyways obviously this was some of this stuff was fabricated so that it would uh, do whatever they needed it to do and in this case it lifted a, a belly mower on a farm all BN so the the guy sold the BN and kept this uh, hydraulic unit and sold that on Craigslist. He, I believe he thought it was a lift doll because he was looking for information on it as well. I looked for a day and a half for Farmall lift doll information and all you can find is the actual lift doll, which is part of I think it was H. It might have been on other tractors as well. But this is a Charlin hydraulic unit. High low power pack E600. And from the only video I've found so far, there's probably more. They, he was saying that it's a, it was very high tech for that period. So I'm going to get this fixed up and this will be part of the farm all rebuild. I'll show the pictures of this on his tractor or the tractor he sold and then it'll be added into however I do this build. The way this was set up on the tractor in the images, this lever was about like this. And that put the lever right here in the way of the light. So, because this isn't really stock equipment, I can make my own. This is just a hex steel rod that fits into this hole there. And I found out that this was double acting, so there should be another one of these on this side. So I'm going to have to figure out something for that. So I'll play around with this, see if I can find some, uh, find some parts for it, find, some, uh, find an owner's manual, and I'll add it to the project. It's a pretty cool looking little thing. Um, if nothing else, I'll use that hydraulic ram 
use this setup and put on a, a plow on the back. Take this off and put a plow on the back. Um, it's only going to be used for parades, so maybe I can mix it up from year to year. Okay, that's about it. Subscribe to the channel and click on the update button if you want to receive notice when we post new videos. Thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.